everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel if you're interested in investing savings challenges sinking funds cash stuffing anything finance related please like comment and subscribe and hit the notification bell to be notified when i upload next so i just filmed a cash stuffing before this and so this will be the second one that i'm filming today my budget is a little bit altered because i i am cash stuffing two times this week actually three times because i did one on wednesday but the reason why that's happening is because i'm late one week so i'm trying to catch up so if you notice me stuffing envelopes that are a little bit different then that's the reason why so let's just get straight into today's cash stuffing today we have 969 dollars in my previous video i paid off all of my student loans are just so exciting. So now I'll, I'll get to allocate that money to different binders. And girl, I am officially debt free, which is such an amazing feeling. <laughs> and it's only going to go up from here. So for this week, we have 100, 200, 300, and 400. 450, 500, 550, 600, 650. 670, 690, 710, 730, 750, 770, 790, 810, 830, 840, 850, 860, 870, 880, 890, 900, 910, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, and 69. Perfect. $969. All right, let's get straight into my variable expenses. I hope that you guys are having an amazing week. So drinkity drink, I typically would put this money in my savings, but this is staying for the following week because it's a second cash stuffing i'm filming um gas is going to be getting ten dollars so that's 10 and 20 in gas groceries is going to get twenty dollars so that's 20 and 40 in groceries Dining is going to be getting ten dollars. So that's twenty, thirty, and forty in dining. Date is going to be getting nothing. Spending is going to get five dollars. Amazing. Household is going to get three dollars. So these are really new bills. I like that. They're just sticking a little bit. Yeah, let's do that. So spending, sorry, household now has 10, 11, see it's stuck, 12, 13, 14, and 15 in household. Car insurance is going to get $125. A hundred. Here's a twenty and a five. Car insurance now has one hundred, two hundred, three hundred, four hundred, five hundred, six hundred, seven hundred, fifty, seventy, ninety, eight hundred, eight ten, eight fifteen, eight twenty, thir twenty-five, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, and thirty-four. Eight hundred and thirty-four. Ooh, it's getting a little thick. Fitness is going to be getting $5. Oh my gosh, guys. I've been obsessed with Pilates and yoga. It is like the best workout ever. My entire body is so sore from doing hot Pilates um, after work the other day. It 
really is such a good workout. I highly recommend anyone who wants to get back into fitness to try Pilates or yoga. It's a really great introduction. Um, and I use ClassPass. I'll link my referral link down below. I think you get like an additional 20 credits, but re really guys, like it's changed my life. Like I think I'm going to be doing this once or twice a week just to stay healthy because I haven't worked out previous to this week in six months. Like that's really bad. So I'm really focusing on my physical health so that it benefits my mental health and helps me sleep better as well. And it just might, makes me overall a better performer. Um, and so yeah, fitness is my priority moving forward. So 20, 30, 35, and 40 in fitness. The great thing about class pass is that I'm on a free trial. You get like 14 to 30 days on a free trial and you can try classes for free, which you would normally pay for. And I think that's such an amazing like first look into class pass and just being able to test out different structures and locations that you like. So yeah, over budget is getting $2. One, two. Over budget now has five, 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. Next summer, guys, I am telling you, I'm going to be the fittest girl around. <laughs> I've always wanted to be that girl, that fit girl. <laughs> so we're trying, we're trying. So for our low priorities thinking funds, we're just going to hop right in. Beauty is getting a little bit more. It's getting $20. I need to stuff this for Black Rider and Cyber Monday, so... 50, 70, 90, 100, 110, 11, 12, and 13 in beauty. Clothing is getting $20. 100, 20, 30, 40, 41, 42, and 43 in clothing. Hair is going to be getting $10. I think I'm going to stuff this one a little bit because I want to buy a Dyson Airwrap or a sh Shark Airwrap. I forgot what the brand was, but I've been seeing people have such ni nice blowouts at home and I am trying to be that girl. So $20 in hair. Birthday is going to be getting $60. 50 and a 10. So that's 50, 100, 20, 40, and 50. What is going on here? So 150 in birthday. Gifts is going to be getting $10. So that's 50, 65 in gifts. Holiday is going to get $70. So 50 and a 20. If you guys hear my sister watching a movie outside, she's watching like the new Victoria and Beckham Netflix show. I totally butchered that probably. So holiday has 100, 200, 300, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 400 in holiday. Parents is going to get nothing, not picker books. Travel is going to get $10. And that's 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 91, 92, and 93 in travel. Technology is going to be getting $10. So close to buying a Nintendo Switch with my boyfriend. So that's 20, 30, 40, 50, 50. 65, 60, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, and 71 in technology. Something is off in my budget sheet, so I need to recalculate technology. Let me do that real quick. All right, going straight into my high priority sinking funds. This one is getting stuffed less, it's only getting stuffed 60%. So typically, if you've been here and you know, I stuff this binder 
with 75% of all my paychecks. And the reason I'm stuffing this a lot less this week is because I'm trying to stuff all of my holiday envelopes and birthdays and gifts and whatnot because of Black Friday or Cyber Monday. And so I'm trying to do all of my shopping for the holidays during that week. So your girl's gotta stock up. Taxes is going to get five dollars. Taxes now has 550, 60, 65, 70. So 570 in taxes. Business is going to be getting $40. and 40. So that's 100, 200, 250, 270, 290, 310, 330, 350, 360, 365, 370. In business. Car is going to get $50. So car now has 500, 600, 700, 750, 770, 790, 800 in a car. Health is going to get $20. So now I have 500, 20, 40, 60, 80, 600, 20, 45. 645 in health. Ooh. On to my savings challenges. We're doing a $50 savings challenge and a $70 saving challenge. And now savings has 500, 50, 600, 650, 700, 20, 40, 60, 70. So that's 770 in savings. So we're Filling in one for the 20s, and these have little holes, so I'm just gonna fill those in. And then one for the $50 savings challenge. All right, emergency is going to be getting $50. And now emergency has 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 500. 50, 70, 90, so that's 3,590. I hope I ca counted that correctly in my brain. Household is getting $30. Oh no. How is it getting $30? I've done something wrong. Give me one second. I'm missing a 20. So I think I know what I did wrong. Let's go into my variable expenses. We're gonna go into groceries. And groceries isn't getting a 20. It's getting a 10, a five, and five ones. One, two, three, four, five. So now, groceries has 20, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and 40 in groceries. That's what happened. And then in dining, did I do this right? Let's see. Dining was supposed to get $10, but it wasn't a $10 bill. It was a five and five ones. One, two, three, four, and five. And the reason why I did that was because Whenever I spend from these envelopes, I always need like smaller denominations. So dining has 20, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, and 40 in dining. There you go, that's correct. Now let me make sure how many ones I have left. I have one, two, and three, and four. And I think that should be correct. Okay, so that's what happened. So when we go into house fund, we need $30. Then it's getting 20 and a 30 in house fund. So that's 1,000, 2,000, 100, 200, 300. 
320, 40, 60, 70. So that's 2,370. Yeah. All right. Now it's all correct. Perfect. And investing is getting $14. So that's a 10 and four ones. So now investing has 1,000, 100, 200, 300, 400, 450, 60, 61, 62, 63, and 64. So we have $1,464 in investing. And then Roth IRA is getting 300. Yeah, there you go. It all worked out, guys. Roth IRA now has 1,000, 2,000, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800. So 2,800 in Roth IRA. There you go. That is all for my high priority sinking funds. Thanks for hanging on there, guys. I know I messed up my denominations there a little bit, but Thank you guys so much for joining me for this week's cash stuffing. I will see you guys next week. Bye.